What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. I just want to dish on this for a minute. Um, the San Jose Sharks are interviewing Dan Bylsma for their, um, you know, head coaching vacancy, and they had to get permission from the Pittsburgh Penguins to do so. Now it's not a big deal. He's he's technically under contract for two years, but the fact that another team has to even ask for permission is absolutely ludicrous. Because you know, you think about it. You shit can the guy. You show him the door, and then a potential employer is gonna come in and ask you to talk to him. I mean, that's something's gonna get done about that, you know. And again, I, the, if Pittsburgh gets compensation for it, it's ridiculous. Likewise, I don't think the Bruins should have got compensation for Shirelli. You fire him, you fire him. Good. I, I mean, you know, right, wrong, or indifferent. You show you show some of the door. It's you know, good riddance. And now it's oh yeah, well we need a draft pick for him. It's like no, he wasn't good enough to be your coach or GM. You got rid of him for whatever reason. And then, you know, every situation is different. But the team that hires him has to give you something for him. That's that's just. It's so, oh, I mean, it, again, if he was, you know, under contract, like, in other sport, but uh, the, the Doc Rivers to uh, the L.A. Clippers situation uh, two years ago, uh, when he left the, the Celtics for L.A., um, you know, that was, te- I mean, you know, you could argue he breached his contract negotiating with another team and all that, but I thought that was a fair deal. The Clippers got that guy, Celtics got a draft pick out of it. You know, he was still under contract for the Celtics, but the Celtics wanted to have him back. They hadn't fired him. Um, you know, Danny Ainge wanted to keep him around, and, you know, he didn't want to be around for rebuilding. You know, it was more kind of a, a win-win-win situation. I mean, not necessarily a win for the Clippers this year after, you know, when they get blown out Sunday, Game 7. But you catch my drift. You know, if a guy wants to leave, okay, demand compensation. But when you show him the door... And compensation becomes a, a, an even to, even a topic of discussion. That's just dumb. It's I mean to, to boil it down to the nitty gritty. It's stupid. Um, so you know again, I hope that the uh, the league can do something about this because I just um, I don't like the situation. I just think it's stupid. It's ludicrous. But anyway, that's like some sort of the power play with CJ on the. Uh, Flaws of contracts and graphics with uh, coaches that have, coaches and GMs that have been fired. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.